Welcome back to Dark Chronicle, and we're going to perform the final Giorama of the game, which is to return the Moonflower Palace Gardens to how they used to look 10,000 years ago. And to do that, we first must enjoy, for the final time, the PlayStation 2 loading times of the Geostones downloading. I hope you enjoyed that, because that's the final time we're going to enjoy it. And we get the Pedal Stream, the Hall of Sorrow, Stardust Pond, Starlight Stairs, Flower Bed, Palace Stairs, Moon Column, Silver Bench, Road to Golbad, Road, and the Camellia Tree. So there are all the things that we can make, but as you see down here, the conditions this time are unable to decode, because this remains a puzzle where we have to see from the pictures inside the Moon, Pal Moon Flower Palace how it used to look, and then make it look similar to that. So if we go over to analysis here, you can see that they're locked by a mysterious power. So once again, we start this by putting down this fountain that we could already make at the start on this bit of damaged ground right here. So we just put it roughly in the middle of there, making sure to hide it all. And that way we have the start of the build. So now we get to make everything. I'll go and splice in, once I've made these, how this place needs to look from all those pictures. And then I'll get to actually making it. Because I remember how this um, is all made, but if you do need to actually ever go back and check, then you always are able to just head straight inside of the foyer and have a look at the pictures. There's nothing stopping you, you're not on a time limit or anything like that. And also, this is quite a lenient build as well, even though you do need to get some things uh, precise, for the most part you can be a little bit off with some things, and it's still okay. Okay, so now it's time to start the build, and we're going to start that with the road to go about. So first off, I'm going to show you how this place needs to look. And now, back to building it. So it's very specific how many of these we actually have to be able to build with. So for example, we can't go any further that direction, so now it's time for us to go down here. And I can continue putting these roads with the flower beds on them down here. And the final one will be here which is as far down as we're allowed to go. So it is a very good limit on the amount of things you can make here. And next up, we can go and start with the roads, but head this way. So we can check on our analysis that we are already 20%, because we put all those roads in the right locations. Now it's time for us to make this road that goes around here, and then when we do two pieces of it, we can then go and put down... Where are the stairs? There they are, the starlight stairs. So, for a hole, this build is mostly um, mirrored. 
So as long as you do this on one side, you go and repeat it on the other side and you should be fine. So we put the final piece of road over here, on this side. Just line it up nicely. And now we just repeat that to the other side of this fountain right here. So we put two pieces of that down, and then the stairs. That looks roughly in line. Yeah, that looks okay. Again, you don't have to be uh, very precise here, as long as it looks okay, then it should work. So that should now be an extra 10%. We're now at 30%, the path of the sun has just been completed. And now is a good time to start putting down the lakes. So down here we have the pedal stream. The easiest way to do this is to start off underneath the bridge. Put those two there, and then follow it around. So on the pictures we saw that this pedal stream went all the way down here and then there were some flower beds next to it, so that's as far as we can go. So I'll put an extra one over there and then we'll swap sides. Once again start off underneath the stairs so we know exactly where we want to be. It is a lot easier to uh, put down the stairs first and then put the pedal stream underneath it. And once again we'll go as far as we can and then we'll turn around. And we'll line these two up, and that should be all of those used. Yep. So that's the pedal stream completed. Analysis, once again, is now at 40%. The stream by the Starlight Stairs. So now for one of the hardest ones to do, which is this palace stairs right here. This one's a little bit awkward, because... You need to put this so that the river goes underneath it. So try and get it as far to the back as possible, but keep it within the stream. Okay, so that's currently within the stream, and now we'll just try and go backwards, using the digital pad to only go one little bit at a time. We'll just go as far back as the game will let us. There we go. And then we also here need some silver benches that are going to face inwards. So we're going to put one over there. And we'll put the other over here. And that's now 50%. With you sitting by the stairs has now been completed. Now, time for us to go and put down these moon columns. Actually, we'll go and put down the flower beds first. The moon columns is really obvious where those go, so it's fine. So we'll go as far as we can outwards here. Okay, that's as far as you can go. And then we'll put it right up against the petal stream. There we go. And then we'll put this one beneath it. Once again, right up against the petal stream. Then we'll repeat that up here. There we go. And one more flower bed over here. And then down here, we're going to use the last two flower beds. Because these go by the... Uh, Gazebo. So now we did place this Hall of Sorrow, and that goes over this side. So we're going to put that right at the back, try and put it roughly in the middle of the stream. There we go, that looks about right. We're now at 70% end of the Hall of the Sorrow, and the flower bed of relocations have now been completed. Now just the moon columns, and the feelings deep, and the murmurs of the trees. So the two camellia trees go here, you don't have to be too precise here, so we'll just put it side and side. As long as they're on this side, it's okay. And that's 80% with the camellia trees. 
now the Stardust Pond goes on this side. Just once again put it right up against there, so that's how I like it. And that's 90%, all that remains is to put down the moon columns. So, once again, if you do ever need to uh, go back in to have a look again, you're able to do that, there's no penalty for it. You come back out as soon as you're able to. So I'll put these four going towards the actual place, because on the pictures it does show four leading upwards, even though you can't put that many uh, pieces of a road down. I always thought that the four pillars should start off at the entrance rather than... Well, the exit gate, I suppose, of the area, rather than the actual entrance to the Moonflower Palace. Well, it shows four pieces there on the pictures, so we'll put four there. Oh, I don't think that was lined up. That's not lined up very well. Let's move one of those. I do want to make this look pretty after all. No, oh, never mind. For some reason we're not allowed to uh, do that. Oh well, I guess we slightly misjudged where I put the uh, lake in the middle, or the fountain rather. That's fine, we'll just go like this then. Otherwise I'll have to remake the whole thing, and like I said, the game doesn't need you to be absolutely specific with it. So what we'll do with these two is, we'll just put this one going the same length as this other one, so it lines up. So we just have to turn it off the magnet to do that. It's a little bit of a gap, but it's not really noticeable, as long as if they all go down the same path. It's better to keep them lined up, rather than to break the line. There we go, and that's every single column. So like I said, it really does look like you should put the other columns down here and not have the two up here, but the pictures do show two up here, so we'll just have to do it that way. And that is 100%, with everything put down as it was in the pictures. So you've got the road to Golbad going down the centre with the fountain, you got the two roads going either side with the stairs, you got the four flower beds up there, and the two flower beds near the gazebo down here, or the pond rather, it looks like a gazebo. And there's the Hall of Memories, and up there, is a place where they sat. So now let's go and see whether or not we've managed to return Emperor Griffin or Cyrus's memories with this. to steal something, weren't you? Tell the truth. No, I just wanted to look at the flowers. Is there a problem here? Your Highness, this little brat here snuck into the garden. I am sure he was planning on stealing something from the castle. No, I already told you. I just wanted to look at the flowers. Let me go. Release him. 
Huh? Just do it. Yes, Your Highness. So, you like flowers, do you? Yeah, I do. Looking at them somehow makes me feel good. Oh, then I guess you're not a thief. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Oh, you believe me? What? You're lying? Oh, it's really true. Very well. I believe you. So, where did you come from? I don't have a home. I'm all alone. I see. All right. From now on, I'm putting you in charge of this flower bed. What? Your Highness! No way. Really? Well, why me? Hmm? I thought you liked flowers. Yes, but... To disobey the Queen's orders. Um, uh, okay, I'll do it. Uh, like a caretaker, right? I guess that wouldn't be too bad. So, what's your name? Name? My name? Uh, mm. <sighs> it's okay. That's fine. Your name here at the castle will be Cyrus. What do you think? Cyrus? Yes, I think it suits you well. I want you to give all these flowers here plenty of love and attention. the Sunstone and the Moonstone. So now we know a little bit more about Cyrus, or Emperor Griffin. So he didn't really have a home, he came here looking at the flowers, and as a result of that he ended up meeting Alexandra, who he ended up falling either in love with or seeing as a mother or something like that. They kind of keep it a little bit vague, so you don't really know whether it's love or not at the moment. So I forgot what you actually use the Sun of the Moonstones for. I completely forgot the fact that we're supposed to be getting those. Alright, I think they just spectrumize, yeah. Never mind. These aren't used for anything, you can just destroy them. So now that we've learned more about Griffin, we're now able to go back to the final floor of the dungeon. We're just looking around for any more of these um, little chests that have spawned since we did more of the dungeon floors at the moment. Making sure we get all of them. Because the last time we went to there, the gatekeepers said that we weren't allowed in yet because we didn't know enough about Cyrus. We still don't know why Emperor Griffin is actually turned evil, because he looks like a really nice guy. Cyrus does. Listen well. If you wish to see my master, you must first speak his true name. Fools! Be gone! So if you get that wrong, then they just kick you straight out of the dungeon, which I kind of like. Because yes, we're going to leave that until the next part. Because if you remember in the last part, when we tried talking to you, they said that we weren't allowed in yet. But now they will actually give us access, as long as if we tell them that Emperor Griffin's name is Cyrus. Which is a little bit confusing, to be honest, because I'm not sure whether they meant to tell you that his name was Cyrus as early as they did. Because I get the feeling it was meant to be when you 100%ed, you're then told his name is Cyrus because that's when Alexandra gives him that name. 
and that then you could use that to enter the final boss room. But the very moment you started this chapter, Alexandra came to you and told you that his name was Cyrus, so I really get the feeling we screwed that up. I really think we did. Because, yeah, that kind of really screams, oh, we shouldn't have told him. Ah, well, let's just wing it. So, that's the Moonflower Palace Gardens being completed with Chiorama, so all that remains now is for us to actually go and fight the final boss, and then complete the game, which will be in the next part. And when we do start to do that, we'll finally learn why exactly Cyrus turned into Emperor Griffin and started destroying the world. So, when we come back, we'll be completing the game. So until then, be lovely to each other.